we ever beaten the duck? No. Well, it's going to be your first time. Someday you're going to beat the duck. Why not today? <laughs> Don't talk to him like that. <laughs> You don't shower. We knew that. I don't shower at all. Oh, sorry. You know, if you shout a little bit more. We already knew that. You don't have to. Yeah, you don't have to really go into it. You're a star. I mean, we would say, who's that guy sleeping over there? Yeah. Nobody even watched the game. They were so distracted <laughs> about by your sleep. The game was so boring. I had to go to sleep. Thank you. What? What did I do now? He's talking about that game. No, he's not. I know where Butch is looking. <laughs> <laughs> you want to play chess? You want to play chess? You don't talk to strange people. Okay. Pretty good. Pretty smart. That wasn't necessary. You didn't have to do that. I wanted to do that. How come his dogs are nice and polite and gentle and friendly and yours isn't? Whose dog? <laughs> his? You didn't even know it was there. See? No, first of all, you know that the dog, dog has been making eyes at my dog ever since like two months now. Yeah. We're, ta we're talking about our animals, right? Yes, your animals. He's causing uh, trouble. That's why. I, I thought we were talking about something else. You don't see what goes on under the table. I don't even want to know what goes on. <laughs> They're the playing footsie right? on the table. We're talking about me and Duffer are the dogs. <laughs> you guys are playing footsie, I just don't need to know. The um, thorn pawn? Have you been studying off the zero? The what? The thorn, thorn pawn. Isn't that a book or something? <laughs> have you been watching You are playing the great Carlini, you cannot be expected to do well. Look like never. Leela Alpha Who do you think you're playing? Right, and she's rated 30. Right. Right. Why am I so good? And she's crushing I don't know. Stop you don't there. know. Stop we're gonna, get you, we're gonna get you up. Crushing You're it. not gonna get me up. I'm too good looking. <laughs> Hanging. I mean, just sacking pieces and massacring. Are you talking about me? I know you're scared. Thank you. I even this alpha. What is this alpha? Zero. It's a neural network. It's pulling easier. You know what alpha zero is. Don't look too what are these things, Joe? You mean you're in a network, you're on the phone with a bunch of people? She has no concept of material. She, has a, her, she thinks in terms of probabilities. What is the probability of winning? She'll sack her queen or anything else if the probabilities for winning go up. You know her that well? I know her pretty well. She kind of plays like me. Mm. She's making my romance chess like romantic again. Mm. And she's not even a human being. Mm. Well, this uh, I'm kind of in love with her, but I don't yeah. know how to pop the question. To you don't know what you're going to say. You're I popping sus to her? You have a good game, Kai. Think more than one move in advance. Don't come up with a plan, please. Oh, I was going to lose a pawn. So. Let's think more than one move ahead. Why did you go there? Because I was going to lose a pawn. So what? You want to lose in a piece.
trying, I'm doing. Take that. That really upsets me. I'm glad you're upset. Very upset about that. Playing like Mike Chess. That queen, I'm going to track your queen now. Watch what happens. You better move it. Yeah, me too. Oh, maybe not. Yeah. How does it feel? Quiet putts! <laughs> maybe not. Yes, sir. This guy's gunning for you, Duck. He can gun all he wants. You don't have to tell him that I'm gunning for him. <laughs> it's a good thing you told him you're gunning for him. Uh, you're really pissing me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's a lot of talking. You're not, you're not playing your best talk. game. There's too much talk. Like I said, there's too much talking. You're not really playing. Sorry. Yes, that's exactly what I That looks right. When you played that thorn pawn, I knew automatically I was going to go into this. This is a very good opportunity to beat the duck, okay? These opportunities like this don't come every day. Yeah. Quit chess too, and now what happened? The man wanted all. I'll sack it. That's like a, you know. Why did you do that? Where was I gonna go? What do you mean? Yeah. Move the knight. You weren't under attack. Oh my God! I just gave you a piece for no reason. You just moved the knight. There was Pretty no sure I'm still about peace. Chess. Imagine if you didn't hang the knife. Suit. I'm under time pressure now. Yeah. Carl, what's your dance? What's your dance, girl? Uh, what's you know, I can do it. 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 I
Who told you? Get up. Get up. Good Just got me. Did you get Brian? Brian's, Brian's oh, 0.2 seconds I left. All I was playing was not to get baited. <laughs> I, I didn't even see it at first. And then you were like, you were staring at me. I'm like, oh, it's me. No, I, I should have just kept moving. Yeah, you should have. I don't do that. Good game, Doc. Right. Brett, you called it. Hey guys, Brian here. Hope you enjoyed the game. Nice clutch made by Kai at the end there, man. That was awesome. 0.2 seconds left. And, uh... <laughs> It, it happens, man. It happens 99.8% of the time when Duck is under fire like that. Uh, he's very good defensive blitz player, and he can blitz out his opponent just that 0.2% of the time he gets caught with that check. And what's funny is when you go back and look at the footage, um, Duck is the first one to realize his mate. So he looks at Kai to see if he to see if Kai knows his mate. And then Kai's still processing it, so Duck looks at Dave... Dave starts laughing, and then Kai finally realizes his mate, so <laughs> it's really funny to see that progression there, and um, yeah, always check, it might be mate, that there's a saying in chess, so nicely done, um, that was a beautiful, beautiful game, and um, this game was uh, full of twists and turns, as you'll soon see in the analysis, um, a lot of winning chances on both sides, but a bit hard to see in, in the fog of war, outsider sees everything, so... Nicely done. Uh, great game by these two, man. Dave called it in the beginning. If you go back to the beginning, Dave was like, um, he told, he asked Kai, have you ever beaten the duck? And then Kai goes, no. And then Dave says, today's the day. <laughs> Is Dave a chess prophet or something, man? So nicely done, Dave, too, for the foreshadow and the prophecy. So hope you guys enjoyed the game. Let me know what you guys thought of it in the comments below. If you want to get Kai a cup of coffee for that clutch mate his uh, link is in the video description as well as ducks um, check out all the other cool links there as well including the amazon links to chess gear and don't forget to like share comment and subscribe hit that bell notification so you don't miss future videos all right let's get to this position and in the game um duck decides to play knight take c5 knight takes bishop let's go move back pause video will be another move for white here All right, one idea is this juicy rook takes knight. If uh, if black recaptures, then would you play as white here? Yes, bishop h6, h6. Not not just attacking the rook, but also setting this up. Check and then mate. So um, king's gonna get out of the way. Knight takes bishop. Queen d8. Um, and um, from here, you can just, uh, if you want, liquidate here and um, go for the win. Um, this could be one continuation. Just grind your opponent down. You know, if rook takes, then just knight takes. And if rook over, then b4. And white is completely winning here. Um, computer is white at plus 11. So that could have been one way to go. Um, yeah, and here you don't have to liquidate if you want. You can just add to the pressure with uh, queen of three. But if you just want to simplify the game, then you can just take. So, All right, let's go a little bit later on in the game. And we get to this position. And in the game, queen, or I'm sorry, uh, bishop c2 was played. Let's go move back. Pause video will be another move for white here. Yes, similar tactic. Rook takes knight. Take bishop h6, king over. Queen f3, um, come in here and here, so knight defends, and this will be, uh, that rook is basically for free, so. Alright, let's go a little bit later on in the game, and here in this position, black plays queen d5, let's go move back, will be another move for black here. Alright, black can play. Just ninety six, yeah. Save save the um save the knight and he's fine. Yeah, this is just one of those weird fog of war positions. Um, let's go a little bit later on here and in the game rook b eight was played. Let's go move back. Pause the video. Will be another move for black here. All right, black can play rook d six, lifting the rook, coming over here for the check and this. So. King f2, rook check, king g1, knight d5, attacking the bishop. Let's say if the bishop decides to defend, then 
rook check, take, take, or I'm sorry, the queen, yeah, and then take, and then you get this nice fork, and you'll pick up the bishop, so it's a nice tactical combo for black there. Let's go a little bit later on in the game, and here in this position, knight takes before his play. Let's go move back. What will be another move for, for black here? All right, just a simple fork here. Rook check, and this would be, uh, wait, yeah, but all this here was under time pressure, I think, yeah, so. And let's go a little bit later on in the game, and he had a5 here played as black. Let's go move back. What will be another move for black here? All right, starts off with a knight g5 check. And um, if uh, rook, if king defends, then you just double up and block, knight check, king e1, rook check, bishop d1, knight discover check, doubling up on the bishop, and this will be a nice uh, nice tactic for black. So that's a pretty long one. You got to kind of calculate that through. I think um, there are only seconds left at this point, so hard to see under time pressure. And here in this position, uh, Knight c3 was played. Let's go move back. Will be another move for black here. All right, knight check. And now the rook has doubled up on this bishop. If king decides to chase the knight, then knight check. And I'm going to fork the uh, knight and the, or I'm sorry, the bishop and the rook. So, yeah, so going back here, and if instead, then just you're going to pick up the bishop anyway. And last but not least, um, here, yeah, just, uh, ooh, will be another move for white here. How does white stop it? Just, um, yeah, just bishop, uh, I'm sorry, where are we? Oh, here, and then here, so going back here, just bishop, yeah, bishop e4 would stop that, uh, mate in one, but, oh, man, yeah, this is, this is why Bliss games are so fun, man, just one out of, uh, it's a very uh, rare opportunity that happens with a nice um, clutch mate at the end. There are 0.2 seconds left, and that's why you keep on fighting. Even though you're down on time, you never know what will happen. Nicely done, Kai. Great game, Duck. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought of it in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification. And thanks. I'll see you guys later.